who that bitch, I got that flame, so don't worry about my motherfucking name. I got him saying. That was my shit in Chicago, man. A lot of times, our pharaohs and hell when people was, you know, just to get this out the way, because um, I'm one of them people who I step over a motherfucker and be real. Because, you know, the one thing I always knew ahead of time that everybody in hip hop is our pharaohs, you know, because this is our culture. You know, a motherfucker around me got one time to say something about a pharaoh, sneak this on a pharaoh, and I'm going to step over your ass and be real, support that pharaoh. Just because I know that I'm a rapper, but, you know, um, like, you know, like I stated, man, motherfuckers that be around us pharaohs just talking mad shit about our culture. You know, um... And we uh, step over their ass and show their ass, be professional towards our culture because, like, all teenagers, man, don't listen to all grown people when they come to motherfuckers saying bad things about some of y'all pharaohs and people that's engraving you within the culture. Because, like I said, man, just because a motherfucker grown, I mean, he always in the right, but just because a motherfucker grown, you know, you should listen to them with knowledge and wisdom type shit. But other than that, just because a motherfucker says somebody they grown don't mean that that's the truth in this power, man. On me, because you might be around a grown motherfucker and they might say something about one of the federals, man. That shit may hurt you because we know our power is grown, people. Ain't no motherfucker finna just, you know, say something about somebody in the culture and that shit spread like wildfire because the kids and teenagers listen. You know, like, um, like with that R. Kelly shit, you know, um, like I stated a long time ago, in Illinois, motherfuckers will say, yeah, you grown at 19, right after you leave high school, because you graduated at 18, 19, but you know, when, when, when R. Kelly, you know, um, was, was, you know, just doing shit for a heart attack, people ain't even see that, you know, R. Kelly, uh, he, he a vice lord, he a part of our nation, he 4CH, you know, R. Kelly, you know, he just, he was doing shit for a heart attack. R. Kelly never um, did things to anybody, never touched any, you know, just never did none of that, you know. Even though I don't want to speak on that, because that's R. Kelly, you know, from Chicago. We got his back no matter what. You know, I got our pharaohs of Chicago back, the top pharaohs, the ones who want to actually accomplish in this. And not, you know, get our kids and teenagers to be dropping nations. And because you doing this shit because you think that's popping the whole time. Regular, that little motherfuckers on the street going to try to get over with you. Everybody been this shit by nature yeah, since we was kids, man. Ain't nobody playing about their nation. You know, like, um, like I remember I took a trip to the Burbs or whatever. And I must have must just so I can walk past Dollar General when a motherfucker had VLK on a motherfucking wall. And knowing, okay, first vice law was created before fucking people. Okay, and that we love folky people. Um, we created God's structure for act. No matter what brotherhood you are in, everybody is living a vice lord lifestyle. Motherfuckers is posting up on the block, getting it. Folks, see, as imagine this was 1957 in the 50s, before the 60s, because you can't count the 40s. The, the 50s is the 50s. You can't count the 40s, 30s, 20s, woo woo, because I want nobody really thinking about no history like that. That's probably army vet times or some shit like that. But the 50s is when motherfuckers knew how to grind, man. You know, shout out, um, uh, trap, trap kingpins. I think, uh, Al Capone and shit like that. But when nobody really setting up no real structure, man, because, you know, Everybody in every brotherhood is using vice law and they should the structure to get money no matter who you is. You know, you can be a whole other brotherhood outside of vice law nation and you know you could be posting up on the block, that's four corner hustle, that's four CH. You could be mobile in your cop trapping that's T V L and we we taught people how to own businesses in our fifty states of America, all states of every country in the nineteen fifties through CVL, one of our branches, and the rest is our savages, you know, to hold the crown of Vice Lord Nation down. But Vice Lord Nation, fun fact, man, um, the true Vice Lord family is a white family, you know, um, it's certain history in Chicago that ones won't talk about, like, um, when we was growing up, we heard that Lawndale was a all dumb, predominantly white community, you know, and, you know, things happen, man, people move out. And, you know, people move in. And, you know, everybody held the legacy of Vice Lord Nation. You know, the um, the real Vice Lord family. You know, um, if anything, you know, you know white people know how to trap, man. Because the suburbs is they shit. You know, you'll go to the suburbs. You'll become a vet off trapping. You'll learn how to use scales. Um, do things. Because, you know, in Chicago, 
you know, you might be trapped for the next motherfucker because he up. You know, uh, all the real ones know I right, common sense rip on your own way, trap no real, but you rip on last time, make it double. But you don't want to have a dumbass coming for you because, you know, he know you ran up on your shit. So you don't know how certain niggas play. They're like, yeah, that nigga ran up on his own shit. So we can go ahead and go through and rob him. No, that's not it. Niggas ran up so they can put their squad on. Like, like I know myself. I might spend bags on nothing but designer. So if me and my guys step out, honey, you can get the Fendi. Honey, you can get the Gucci. You can get the Burberry, you know. Uh, I'll take the Feral Gummer. Uh huh. This yo, this yo jab. You get it on this yo jab. You get on. We bring it in. We take trips. Come back. Flip double. You know, this all. This is a boy's lifestyle. You know, this brotherhood's, you know, lifestyle. You know, um. I always, you know, stood on true structure. Because, you know, I've been gang banging and stacking. Ever since what probably got them before my time, man. You know, cause it's 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 how this shit go. Ask anybody who stacked, we naturally stacked, man. This ain't you know, um shout out Young Thug, shout out um the gang, shout out um uh you know, shout out Frenchie, shout out all the ferals who gang bang and stack, man. Cause when I was a teenager, and we saw the ones who gang back side, we knew that's home. That's real. You a real member, man. We try to learn how to do that. Woo woo. But you know, it ain't take all us real members who gang back that no we been gang bang and stacking for the longest, man. Since diaper days, you know, motherfuckers are gang bang and stack on some